If you still breathing and walking on this earth to you today, that is God's proof to you that you still have more life to attain. You still have more presence to give out in this world. A whole lot of situations turned me to a monster. I had to sit and be patient, but I remain home. I always knew that I would make it. I'm straight smart, plus I'm educated. I worked hard, plus I know. YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Sa. Si. Man, I appreciate y'all for tuning in to my video today. Um, this is my very first segment of me discussing sports. I know we live in a sports world, and I know everybody, you know, love to talk about sports, and, and people love the sports culture, culture that goes on around the world today. So this is my very first video of me talking about what goes on in the sports world. And so I'm going to talk to you all today about why I think Aaron Gordon was truly robbed last night in the um, dunk contest. I don't think he was robbed last year because I, I truly believe that no one would ever come close to what Zach Levine um, accomplished last year and the dunks that he was able to do. I don't feel like nobody would ever be able to top that. But I truly feel like the dunk contest between Aaron Gordon and Derrick Jones, um, Gordon was truly robbed. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give y'all a playback of, of all the dunks from the slam dunk contest last night and all the visuals of of what truly went down and, and the judges and their reactions. So we're going to get right into the video, and I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't, and, and here we go. You do this on my second dunk? Yeah. You know, just so I'm warm, I know I'm warmed up. Yeah. I know I'm warmed up. Okay. okay. All right. I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. This first dunk by Jones right here was pretty impressive. As you can see, he lost the ball during the dunk. I didn't even notice that during the dunk contest. But what we also noticed right here, he did use Bam as a prop. And what that does when you're getting elevation, it increases your elevation because you're able to push off somebody and you're able to get up higher. So it was a great dunk, none the least. But like I said, he did use Bam as a prop. So, you know, I think that kind of wavered his, his first dunk and uh, opinions of the judges and other people viewing the first dunk. So here's um, Aaron's first dunk. But like I said, Jones' first dunk was pretty good. But um, like I said, he did use Bam as a prop. I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. And listen, that. Yo, this, the AG is a freak of nature, man. Uh, this this very first dunk right here was very powerful. Um, explosive between the legs, um, behind the back. Uh, just, just very spectacular. Degree of difficulty is amazingly high. Um, this is what I love, the judges' reactions. Uh, they love it. They're amazed by the dunk. And I think that we all can agree that that first dunk by AG deserved a 50, and it was better than um, Jones' um, first dunk. So here's Jones' second dunk. And I think, um, you know, like I said, that very first dunk by AG and Jones, AG got the nod on that one. Is this young man going to do? I don't know. He better fly. Here he go. Oh! Yo, this is when things really started get, getting out of hand for Jones. He already very explosive, but um, if you remember AG's first dunk in the first round, um, he did it um, between the legs. Behind the back, it's kind of was a 180, but Jones just topped it with a 360. All he did was take what um, AG did in the first round and really just add a little bit more sauce and flavor to it. That was a pretty impressive dunk, um, pretty explosive dunk. And like I said, he just pretty much really just topped what AG did and just added more sauce to it in, in the second round. So um, that's a pretty, like I said, pretty explosive, great dunk. But here's um, AG's second dunk. This second dunk by um, AG was pretty explosive. Um, very, very, very extremely high um, degree of difficulty. People think dunking come from your lower body, but this type of dunk that Jones just did, um, you have to have an extreme amount of upper body strength to grab the ball from your midsection and bring it over your head and do a 360 with it. So I think that was an impressive dunk, but I do not think that AG's second dunk was better than Derrick Jones' second dunk. That second um, dunk by Derrick Jones was, you know, probably his best dunk of the night, in my opinion. Uh, 360 um, between the legs. Um, I don't think AG second dunk top that. So here's the third dunk by um, both contestants. Come on now. Give us one of those 88 dunks. Here we go. Come on, 
Too. It was too. It was too. Man, I can't even lie. That boy Jones. Jones had some amazing dunks. This dunk right here was amazing. Uh, uh, you notice the difference between his first dunk. Uh, he did not touch the two props um, that he used. He jumped over two people between the legs. Um, cleared both of them, looking into the rim, literally. And um, what I like is how he grabbed the ball with his right hand and um, switched it over with his left hand. Um, pretty amazing, explosive dunk. Jones is really explosive. He don't weigh, but. 50 pounds so um yeah that was a pretty amazing dunk by him and so here's our um, second here's john i mean here's jones third dunk my bad excuse me here's gordon's um uh, here's gordon's third dunk i'm sorry oh, wait 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 okay that's got to be a 10 though i mean it's, yo, it's so effortless yo i can't even lie this is this is a very impressive dunk but it is not better than jones um third dunk um, he's expressing a lot of degree of difficulty by having to pull that ball from as low as he is all the way over his head. Um, for my natural dunkers and natural hoopers out there, y'all know exactly what I mean by having to have that upper body strength to pull off these type of dunks. Um, I'm a natural dunker myself. <laughs> you know, I got to throw that in there. I'm a natural jumper myself. So, um, you know, all my natural jumpers out there, y'all know what I mean by having to have the upper body strength. So, um, that was a great dunk, but it wasn't better than um, Jones' third dunk. So, right now we have um, Jones winning 2-1 as of right now going into the fourth round. And this is where stuff is really starting. It's, it's about to really get interesting. So, here are the fourth dunks by each contestant. My ready. On this dunk right here ready. was straight filthy <laughs> by um, Jones, ready, yeah. man. I can't even lie. Um, oh, my God. That's, that's pretty impressive. Uh, between off the backboard, between the legs, over an individual, and absolutely cleared them. Um, I love the excitement at the end of the dunk. Uh, this is what this is what I love right here. Also, um, D Wade is amazed by what happened. Even AG, he amazed, and he know that that was a spectacular dunk. Um, an extremely high level of difficulty. It's hard jumping over an individual, let alone doing a windmill between the legs over an individual. So that was a great dunk. So um, here is um, Eric Gor Aaron Gardens. Um, he, get, he, get, he, get he get one miss. You get one, he get miss. one miss. That's a 50. That's a 50. That's a 60. <laughs> Let's get it on! Let's get it on! This fourth dunk right here by AG was was crazy. Um, off the side of the glass, um, 360. But what's interesting about this dunk, he actually missed the first attempt. So I don't know if people, you know, knock him for that. But I'm kind of on the same side as D-Wade. You know, you get one miss. Um, that was an amazing dunk off the side of the glass. And... You know, just was exploding. The 360, man, it was an explosive dunk, like I told you. AG, he's a natural um, dunker on um, pure athleticism. But um, right now, we're currently tied 2-2, in my opinion. Um, Jones has won, you know, two rounds, and Aaron Gordon has won two rounds. So this is where the judgment really starts to happen. And this is where the question get answered of if Jones was truly robbed. I mean, if Aaron Gordon was truly robbed of this slam dunk championship. And so uh, I'm going to take y'all to the final two rounds. And this is when stuff truly, truly, truly gets interesting. What? I like this right here. Uh, I like the excitement after the end. You know, if, if some of y'all don't know, um, his nickname is the airplane mode. Like I told you, he's a natural leaper. Um, but this was an, uh, an impressive dunk. I think... Jones is um, very, very smart for doing this. He, he, If you've been paying attention, basically what he's been doing is taking a lot of Gordon's dunk and, and just adding more sauce to him and implement him in his own ways. So, um, you know, Gordon just literally just threw it off the side of the glass and uh, went 360. So Jones came back and went side of the glass between the legs. And I think, honestly, being the natural um, jumper that I am, I think um, – Going between the legs is way more difficult than um, 
doing a 360 because you have to have the upper body strength you have to have the the, the hand and hand coordination to to grab the ball with one hand and pull it up with the other hand and you also have to have the elevation off the ground to be able to hang in the air to bring the ball between your legs so i think that was an amazing dunk um this is currently the fifth round so i think that was an impressive dunk and i think it was going to be i thought it was going to be hard for gordon to top that in the fifth round I can't even lie to you, and I'm gonna just keep it real. That was a good dunk, but as you see, Jones, you know, he's pointing at, you know, basically just saying that that's the same dunk. That he did. It was a good dunk, but it's the same dunk that Jones did. And, and, and he also had one less of a person. Um, yeah, there you go, Dwayne. Just walk away, dunk, but he did not top. Walk away, Dwayne. It's a tie, man. It's a tie. So. You know, going into the this, final, the next final round is uh, uh, that I feel like I really, really, really decides um, who truly should have won, and um, was he was he robbed or not? Five. You dunk over Taco, you win. Yeah, you right. win. You win. He's seven five. You dunk over Taco, you win. Come on, man. Come. Um, I love the mutual respect right here by um Jones and Gordon. Um, honestly, this was an impressive dunk, man. Uh, he jumped over seven five. He 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 went below his legs a little bit, and, and he completed it on. Uh, I think this is a second attempt. So uh, it's a great dunk, but I'm gonna get in. And I I, I truly don't feel like. Many players in the He's NBA will be able to jump over Taco Fall, uh, but we're going to get into um, Jones' final dunk, and I'm going to give you my take on if I think Gordon was uh, robbed. Logo. Oh, my goodness. That's a windmill for one step inside. He, he's mad because he did it so hard, but it's still a 50, brother. It is. I mean, it's still a 50. All right, so here's my thing. Um, this is a very impressive dunk by Jones. He tried to do the Michael Jordan uh, from the free throw line. He did a windmill. He is gliding, um, skywalking pretty good, and, he, and great. he expressed great explosiveness. But um, here's my thing. That dunk is really basic. Um, I've seen high schoolers do that dunk. I personally probably could do this dunk on my own if I was to go out and attempt it and practice it. I don't think that dunk was overly spectacular. But throughout the night, each of them also um, did a lot of spectacular dunks. And I truly feel like Gordon almost robbed this, of this dunk contest. If they're deciding um, the final dunk contest winner based off the last round, I truly feel like Gordon won the last round because, you know, he jumped over Taco Fall. And that dunk that Jones did, it, it was pretty basic. And so here's the um, here are the judges. And um, as you can see, Gordon, he's, he's he's disappointed because I know how bad he really wanted to win. And he felt like he should have won last year, which honestly, um, like I said in the beginning of the video, I don't think nobody will come close to what um, Levine did last year. But as you see, a lot of the players and judges – are you know baffled by what happened um they thought that gordon was gonna win um you see the faces and their reactions and stuff and like i said um i thought that gordon got robbed and um that's just my take on it but again congratulations to jones for winning his first um slam dunk contest i know it was an honor to him and i know he really wanted to win it but um you know just my opinion i truly feel like um gordon was robbed of a dunk contest championship this year because if they decided it off of that last dunk jones last dunk wasn't spectacular so that's my take on it and um man i appreciate y'all for tuning in like comment and subscribe if you haven't um y'all have a blessed day and i love y'all peace